Hello and welcome to the Our Reviews. Today we'll be reviewing the Funko Legacy Collection Daedric Warrior. So yes, here we have a Daedric Warrior, specifically from Skyrim, but there is Daedric over in multiple Elder Scrolls games. Uh, I think this is the best of the Funko Legacy uh, Bethesda stuff so far. Um, the line's not great, but I do think that it has potential to be really cool. And, uh, yeah, it's probably worth getting into if you really like Bethesda's stuff. So let's go ahead and zoom in for the articulation, scope, paint details, all those sorts of things. Alright, so for the quick size comparison, of course, here we have our Daedric Warrior. Here's our standard Marvel Legends 6-inch Cosmic Armor Iron Man and 3 and 3 quarter inch Marvel Universe Wolverine. The Daedric Warrior is noticeably shorter than a standard Marvel Legends figure. He's still within a uh, one-twelfth scale, but st not really close to Marvel Legends size at all. He would look weird in a display of them. And, uh, of course, still bigger than a three-and-three-quarter inch figure. Now let's get everything else out of here and just look at the Daedric Warrior. Moving on to our 360 spin here, you can see our Daedric Warrior in his Daedric armor. It's not exactly heavy on color variation, it's mostly just kind of a blackish gray sort of metal kind of color, which is the color that Daedric Armor is, and then it's got some red accents here and there. The sculpting on everything is really nice though, uh, all the plates are nice and overlapping, it's got all the proper texturing, uh, very spiky, and uh, has the little skirt bits and all the plates around the legs and arms and the clawed kind of hands and uh, one of his hands is for holding his weapon. Everything looks good sculpting wise and everything's accurate paint wise so it's pretty good representation of a set of Daedric armor. Now let's go ahead and zoom in on his head sculpt. Head sculpt wise of course you have the helmet to match the rest of the armor. It's very spiky and has the same coloration. Uh, on the inside, in the visor sort of area, it's kind of flat and has a glossy black for some reason. I guess just to make it look like there's something behind the helmet there, but there's not like any like glowing eyes or anything cool there. It's just flat plastic. Um, but yeah, it's very spiky and accurate to what a Daedric helmet should look like, though, so there's no real complaints there. Now let's go ahead and zoom out and look at some articulation. Articulation-wise, you get pretty uh, standard sort of Funko Legacy articulation, which is pretty decent. You get a ball peg in the head that moves up and down, side to side, wall joint shoulders, in and out, forward and back, hinge and rotation in the elbow, hinge and rotation in the wrist, rotation and a bit of ball peg motion in the waist, hips go in and out, forward and back, double jointed knees, and hinge and pivoting in the ankles. So you can get him into plenty of poses. His armor is a bit flexible so it doesn't inhibit the shoulders too much. The only real complaint I have is that he doesn't have a thigh cut or anything which is pretty annoying. But other than that he is pretty decent. Now let's go ahead and move on to some accessories. Accessories wise the Daedric Warrior just has his Daedric Axe which is one-handed axe, same color scheme and design as the rest of his armor, so it's that blackish gray color with a bit of red accenting. I wish he either came with a Daedric shield, or they would have given him another one-handed weapon or a two-handed weapon, because more often than not there's no real benefit to only wielding one weapon in Skyrim, so it seems a bit weird, and I think a shield would have been cool. Uh, that's a perfectly acceptable axe, and I have no real packaging wise. The Daedric Warrior comes in the standard for these new Legacy figures Elder Scrolls Skyrim Legacy Collection up there at the top, big window, and Daedric Warrior down there at the bottom. On the back, you get a picture of the Dovahkiin and the list of figures, which is just Dovahkiin and Daedric Warrior. These are good for in or out of package display, so yeah, Daedric Warrior. All right, the wraps it up for this Daedric Warrior. So until next time, goodbye. Hello, you've just watched one of my videos. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed my videos. If you didn't, run away. Run away and never return. Also, feel free to check out my other channels, Venom Raptor, for all my variety gaming content, and VR reviews, for reviews of various action figures and collectibles. Thank you, and goodbye.